It's done. The ebook of my trip to Bryce Canyon National Park and Zion National Park is complete and it's ready for download. I am so excited for you guys to take a look at it. And then for you VIPs and Patreon patrons out there, I am excited for you all to see the behind the scenes video from the trip. Stick around for the end of the video and I'll tell you how you can see that. At the beginning of this year, I made a bit of a resolution to revisit a few national parks. These are places that I've been once or maybe twice, but my focus on those trips was always split. I was seeing things for the first time, I was exploring, I was hiking, I was taking photos certainly, but they weren't necessarily the primary focus of my trip. My goal this year was to go back to some of those awe-inspiring places and make photography my focus so that I could share the experience with you. My first trip was to Yellowstone National Park earlier this summer. I found that the laser focus on photography and bringing the experience of this beautiful place to you in a book made me enjoy the trip even more than I had anticipated. I was up and out of the hotel before dawn almost every day and I didn't get back until well after dark and it was exhausting and it was incredibly gratifying. So as soon as that book was released, I was planning my next adventure, <laughs> this time to two parks that were pretty close to each other and a bit closer to home, Bryce Canyon and Zion. This trip was only two months in the making, so taking my experience from both parks from the past and doing research in books and online, I created a trip where I could dive in with my cameras. Speaking of cameras, I brought a bunch of them <laughs> and batteries and chargers and snacks a lot of snacks. I got to keep fueled up for all that hiking and I've got to be ready to photograph anything that came my way, like this bald eagle. The hiking part is actually what was different for me on this trip from my trip to Yellowstone. At Yellowstone earlier this year, I did a fair amount of walking around and I climbed up a couple of mountains, but there were hours every day driving around to the different places in the park. With Bryce and Zion, the parks are much more compact with lots of trails to different destinations. So I put in many miles every day, up and down and around those canyons. I was up early and out late, but I was on my feet rather than in the car and it was awesome. I love to get my boots on the ground and go. I don't actually wear boots, but you know what I mean. And after the trip was over, I had a lot of photos to show for my efforts. I chose them for the book with you all in mind. I wanted you to see the things that I saw, but I hope that you can feel some of the things that I felt, like the sun in my eyes and the wonder of the views. Maybe even feel the fatigue when looking ahead at so many twisting, rising, and falling trails. So everyone, this is how you get your hands on the ebook. There's a link in the description below to my site. Go there. You'll link to my books page then you scroll down, find the book, and add it to your cart, pay, and download. But here's the way the cool kids are doing it. Follow that link in the description below, and then if you are a Snapchick VIP or a Patreon patron, you get to access a free download code for the book. That's right. And here's the hint. It's cheaper to become a VIP or a patron than it is to purchase the ebook on its own. There's info on how to do that at the link below too. And incidentally, you VIPs and patrons will also see the behind the scenes video from the trip when you log in. And there's one more way to get this book, an actual copy of the book. In fact, it's an expanded edition. I took a couple of side trips when I had the time in Utah to Grafton, a ghost town near Zion, and to Cedar Breaks National Monument, which is sort of in between the two parks. Photos from those trips are included in the real live book. The catch is, those books are reserved for my Grand Canyon patrons. And on my Patreon page, I have allowed for a limited number of Grand Canyon patrons, and they receive a real live signed photo or photo book from me every month. For this trip, there's still a bit of time left. So if you're interested, you can find more information about becoming a Grand Canyon patron in that link in the description below. All right, friends, thank you to all of you for watching and a huge thank you to those of you who are contributing every month through my VIP program or my Patreon page. 
you guys are the ones that get me to these places. And I already have a few things in the planning stages coming up for you. Because you know me, I can't stay in one place for too long. I just need adventure. <laughs> anyway, where do you think I should go next? <laughs>